your babies welcome back to another video y'all so we finally have a thumbnail tutorial i want to show y'all how i make my thumbnails because i don't use fonto or pixar or none of that stuff anymore y'all we using CapCut. you can get more creative when you're using CapCut because you can actually use different effects and stuff like that so i'm gonna show y'all an updated thumbnail tutorial because i don't make my thumbnails how i used to before we enter the video y'all i do want to mention that i am a template <laughs> creator you can go to my CapCut and you can find multiple thumbnails that i do you will also find the one that i'm going to be making in this video you can use it for your own all you have to do is replace my pictures with your pictures replace my text with your text you can use the templates that i have it's really that simple go to my cap cut i'll have it somewhere on the screen so i'm gonna be showing y'all how i make my thumbnails using cap cut so make sure y'all follow me on my instagram i will have it somewhere over here or on this side i don't know like this video subscribe if you're new and let's hop right in so i'm about to screen record so, so i'm gonna try my best not to do any heavy editing so y'all could just see like how i do my thumbnails so first what i like to do is i like to do a little pose and i've already downloaded the video from this camera all i did was i went on safari and i found like a cap cut background and i saved it to my camera roll and i held it like this and then you just strike a pose like you smile or you just do whatever and then basically you save that video so this is the video of me doing like my thumbnail poses and stuff like that as y'all can see i like to make a lot of poses just so i can see which one i like so nothing new so we're gonna find whichever cute little pose for this video okay that's actually really cute so i'm going to screenshot it and then we're going to crop it and the cropping is very important so make sure you crop it to where it's literally the same size so there we go press done and save to photos so i also like to look to make sure i don't you know see any other like poses that i want so okay that's actually cute too so i'm gonna screenshot it and we're gonna pick from these two whichever ones I like. So I be really sitting here struggling trying to figure out which ones I actually want to use for the thumbnail. So let's pick out of these two which one is better. I think it's this one. But this one is cute too. So I'm very indecisive when it comes to picking like which one is better. But we're going to go for this one right here. So what I do is I go to my cap clip, go to new project, and I'm going to insert this whichever one this one right here so what i do is i click on the background y'all make sure you get rid of the little cap cut thing at the end because we don't want that so you click on the thumbnail and what you do is you go to copy you scroll over to where it says copy and then we're gonna go to cutout go to customize cutout and you can remove the background so i have pro so i can quickly brush it and it'll kind of like cut it off for me because i have pro now if you don't have pro you really gonna have to zoom in and kind of like take your time and do this or you don't have to do this i'm about to show y'all a different way you can do this without you know using pro so boom this is the benefits of having pro so what you want to do is click on overlay and then drag this underneath it now if you don't have pro let me show you a different way you can do it so you're going to copy the background you're going to go to cut out and you're going to go to remove background and this is the best it can do that's the best it can do you can also add a cutout stroke we're gonna do that as well if i like it so if you don't have pro you can do it that way it's always another way like i'm gonna always show y'all a free way to do something so let me delete this because this is not the one i want to use all right so what i do is i go to effects video effects and we're gonna use whatever like nice video background so i like to use the oblique blur right here we're going to use nothing but free ones and it's okay i don't have to use free ones because i'm going to have this thumbnail like on my cap cut template page for y'all to use so if you want to use this exact type of thumbnail that we're making you can use it so you don't have to buy pro hold on so we're going to click on oblique blur and boom it adds a little blur to the background so if you don't like that that's fine um if you're making your own thumbnail you can use whatever background you would like to use so let me just go through it and see like which ones I like. So we could do Halo Blur. Uh, I don't like that. So yeah, we're going to stick with the Oblique Blur. So the next thing I like to do after adding that, I'm going to go to Effects, Video Effects. And I like to use the HDR or the Smart Sharpen. So we're going to do HDR. And then what I'm going to do is click on Object and Overlay so that we can add a little sharpen look to our actual face. So go to Adjust and I'm going to turn like this down so that it won't look all weird looking so fix it to your liking we can turn the amount down to like 10 the intensity to like we can turn the intensity up because that just adds like that little warm tone to your face the filter uh we can add filter to it too like 62 and to be honest we could leave it like this let me try to see okay i turn the range all the way down to like 10 11 because i don't really know what they do um yeah so this is nice but hold on something is missing 
yes the size so we're gonna turn the size up to like nine and boom so it adds that sharpened look to your thumbnail that's really nice that's really nice so what we're gonna do you can click on the overlay and go to cut out customize cut out and cut out stroke and you can add like a little stroke to your person so i like to use this dotted one but that don't look right for this particular video so i might not add a stroke to these but if y'all want to add one you can do that we got the paper one we got this as a matter of fact i might add this one i might go ahead and add this because that's that actually look nice okay so we're gonna add that turn the texture down because i don't like the texture that it gives it so okay so safari has a little png for me to use so i'm gonna hold down on it click on save to photos and we're gonna add this to this video so you can add it as an overlay or you can add it as a sticker it doesn't matter boom and then we're gonna shrink it down place it over here you can turn it sideways like that what i'm gonna do is go over to layer and click on one so if you want to hide it behind the person i mean behind you or something you can do that so we're gonna put it like this just so it can look good like wait but to be honest I'm gonna move it over like you don't really need to be under me what I'm gonna do if I want to add a text or something I'm gonna go to text add text and I'm gonna put thumbnail I'm gonna spell thumbnail so here is where you get to add your fonts and stuff like that I use my own fonts I don't really like to I use the ones that CapCut has too but which one do I like to use super magic and I showed y'all this in one of my vlogs that this is the thumbnail this is the one that I like to use so you're gonna go to style and CapCut has a curve option now so I, I like to go to curve click on that and we're gonna turn this down to like I don't know like to your liking 10 degrees 9 degrees whatever then you're gonna go to spacing and where it says character we're gonna bring this down to like there we go to like negative two then you're gonna go to effects y'all it's a lot of like stuff that I'll be going to and stuff and then you just click on like whichever one you like like this is really easy yeah we're gonna do this one so then I'm gonna add YouTube then we're also gonna add an effect to this one as well so I also add a curve I think I'm gonna add a curve to this YouTube right here and make sure that tutorial is showing and then YouTube just something different like I like to do different stuff like every thumbnail y'all gonna see like some different stuff going on so all I do is just go to like the curve add my curve then I go to space and I turn like the character and stuff down a little bit so yeah and then i go to effects and i mess around with the colors like this is really easy because it's like giving you the little effects and stuff so okay so this is what is given i don't know i might space it down a little bit but this is kind of cute so i'm gonna just add a youtube png and a png is just a sticker like i like to search that up so you can do that on pixart as well but we're gonna search up a youtube png and we're gonna use like one of these stickers okay yeah this right here is great and then what I'm gonna do is either add it as an overlay or you can add it as a sticker. Then we're gonna adjust it down and place it like that. And I like to add a little twist to it like that. Now you can be extra and add like a blend. This is how I be having stuff blend in in my videos. I add like a little blend to it. So if none of these look right, we just gonna keep it how it is. I think that that looks good. And then we can add one to cap cut too. This kind of look cute. So we're probably gonna leave it like this and then if you want you can go to effects video effects and we're gonna go to vlog and i like to add the little background this right here this is really this thumbnail rise here so yeah i added the camcorder you can add the wobbly back the camcorder whichever one to your liking like this is your thumbnail get creative with it now we can see like i'm gonna search up smoke because i like a little smoke or something in the background to be going on so we can add a mist yeah, like something going on in the background or something like that. What do the shadow flow do? Okay, no, we don't have to worry about that. Oh, yeah, this is nice too. This is real nice. So, yeah, we can add this right here. I like a little background to be going on. So, yeah, we could, we could do this right here. So, yeah, this is perfect. So, this is how I do my... Y'all just literally sat here and watched me do my thumbnail. Basically, how to use it, because I feel like somebody's going to ask me. It's really simple. You save the video, you go to your camera roll, go right back to the video, and you scroll over to where it's doing all that extra stuff. You can screenshot it like this, or you can scroll over where the shadow is coming out. Screenshot, tap the screenshot, and you crop it. Like, a lot of people be... It be some people in my little cap cut thing saying, like, the size be too small. Y'all must don't crop it right. Yeah, so that's how I make my thumbnails. You just be creative like you know you don't even have to look at other people's thumbnail just make your own thumbnail your own way so now i'm gonna go to my youtube studio and show y'all how to 
to place it on there okay so once you are in the little area where you add your thumbnail you click on it and you add the thumbnail and boom select this is literally easy as hell so it should be no reason any of y'all are having poor quality thumbnails and i'm literally showing y'all how i make my thumbnails and then on top of that i'm also posting it as a template for y'all to use for free just in case you don't feel like making your own you can use this exact template that i made if you want to all you have to do is replace my picture with yours the text with yours and yeah so but i'm so glad y'all using it like a lot of people have been using my templates and that's good we have this thumbnail for all my vloggers She's this right here like come on now i also have a preview intro that a lot of people are using so y'all better stop sleeping on me because i'm gonna blow up either way so you can hate all you want to bitch i'm gonna be up there either way you're gonna see pretty type of. so yeah um i make intros all type of stuff this thumbnail i noticed a lot of people are using too we got this thumbnail so yeah okay. y'all have fun with that since we're here let me show y'all how i use the thumbnail so we're gonna do this life update q a so i'm gonna click use template let me show y'all how to use it you click on a photo that you screenshot for your thumbnail so we're gonna use this one since we didn't use that one so this little picture right here is whatever you want that profile picture to be click on preview and as you can see it literally inserted it for you the text you can change it to your liking let's say we wanted a thumbnail a tutorial and over here you got the little question marks you can move it over y'all this is fucking easy like girl if you don't go use my damn template and stop all that complaining and y'all better not be having no little funky ass thumbnails because i'm sitting here putting y'all on game and y'all thumbnails still looking shitty so boom look at that but yeah so so if y'all enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up make sure y'all tune into my recent videos too because i don't do just tutorials on this channel i also do like vlogs and stuff like that so i'm really entertaining to watch so don't play with me don't just be watching my editing videos bitch you can watch me for me too because it's the personality and y'all like me y'all love me so go ahead and subscribe like this video leave a comment whatever use my templates because it ain't that hard to use and yeah i love y'all so much and i will see y'all in my next video Stay tuned.